Hello there, welcome to Storytime Crafts from the Alameda Free Library. Today we are going to make a little cardboard birdhouse made out of some of our favorite materials. A cardboard tube, some yarn. I happen to have two little cardboard discs that came as the backing for something. If you don't have them already round, you can certainly cut two thin pieces of cardboard or cardstock into circles that are just slightly bigger than your the diameter of your cardboard tube. We will need some glue, white glue, any kind of glue will do, but this is probably the easiest to use, some scissors, a piece of card cardstock, so this is kind of thicker paper, any paper will do really, even cut up magazine, um, but cardstock will be the easiest one. Ooh, something I don't have in front of me. A pencil, and of course your cardboard tube, if I didn't already mention that, some tape or a stapler. And then after we finish the birdhouse, you may use whatever you like to decorate yours. Oh, and of course some yarn, if I didn't mention. Um, as you can see, I've left mine plain and I kind of like it that way for two reasons. Number one, sometimes I think simplicity is awesome. Just the simple adorableness of this item in its natural state without being decorated. The other reason is this can all be recycled or reused when you're done. So if you're gonna put your birdhouse outside and it gets a little soggy or messed up, you can easily take this apart and recycle the pieces that um, are recyclable and then reuse the pieces that aren't. So this project is based on a couple of really adorable books. Here's this brand new one called A House for Every Bird by Megan Maynard and illustrated by Kemani Juanita. I adore this book. And it's all about finding just the right space for everyone. So my birdhouse is somewhat inspired by that. And then, of course, also inspired by this terrific kids' how-to book, 51 Things to Make, with my favorite cardboard tubes by Fiona Hayes. And this project happens to be in this book, or one that's very similar to it. Hmm, let's look at the table of contents. Where did I find this? Oh, Birdhouse, page 8. Yes, very, very similar. As you can see, this birdhouse has been painted. Ours is going to be plain. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make the holes for the bird, and then of course, for the stand. That little card, piece of cardstock is gonna be our stand. I'm gonna make the hole for the stand first because then I'll know where to put the hole for the bird. I'm using my pencil to poke a hole somewhere in the bottom third of this tube. If we look at this tube and think of it in three pieces, we've got kind of the top third, the middle third, and then this will be our bottom third. So I'm gonna take my pencil nice and sharp, careful of your fingers, don't have them on the other side, and just gently poke through. Give it a little wiggle as far as it will go. Don't go through to the other side. Totally okay if you do though. And we can make that bigger when we need to, if we need to. So there is where our stick is gonna go. Now we need to make the hole for our bird. I'm gonna kinda draw it with my pencil just so that I know about how big I want it to be. I'm gonna use my pencil again to poke, keeping my fingers away from the other side. Ooh, a little harder, my pencil got a little less sharp but it's doable. Let's see, try it again. there we go. And then I'm gonna use my scissors to go through that hole and cut away around the shape that I drew. It doesn't have to be exact, but I drew it just to give myself an idea. There we go. And my first cut here can be a little sloppy because I can always go in and fix it later with my scissors. These scissors aren't working so well. I'm gonna use a different pair. Always nice to have backups. Let's try these. Oh, much better. I want scissors that I can get nice and detailed with. All right, let's go ahead and clean that up a little, make it nice and round. There we go. 
go. There, nice. Good enough for me. No sharp edges for those birdies. Okay, there's the hole for the bird. There's the hole for the stand. Next part is gonna be that stand. We need our pencil again. We need our piece of cardstock. I think I'd like the I think I'd like the white side showing on this one. So I am going to curl my paper around my pencil. As tight as I can get it. Remember the hole that I made in the tube was made by this pencil. So if I roll my paper around it, it should fit right through that hole. I might need to make it a little bit bigger. We'll see. Yep. I'm going to just keep that squeezed tight with my fingers and then wiggle my pencil around here a little bit to make that hole just a little bigger so that I can squeeze that stand through the hole that I made. Yep. There we go. Okay. And it stays pretty well on its own. If you want to make sure that it's really going to stay, or if you'd like it to be longer, it's not quite long enough or whatever, you could add a little glue either here or on the inside back there. But it stands up pretty well just on its own, just like that. And then less glue equals easier to recycle later. All right, now we need those discs. The first one we're going to put on is the bottom. And I've got two colors here. I've got sort of a light color and a dark. I like the all cardboard color. So using my glue, I'm gonna put glue just around the edge of the bottom of my tube. Oh, the little gets inside. No big deal, just around the edge. And then put it right in the center. A little off center is no big deal. Just make sure it gets on there. You can press it down a little bit and it'll stay. And then we're gonna let it dry. As it's drying, we can make the top. So to make this roof, this little triangular kind of roof there, conical roof rather, it is conical. We are going to mark with our pencil just about the center spot of the circle. It doesn't have to be exact, but just so that I know where to cut. I don't want to cut all the way through. I want to make one slice of my circle right up to that dot. There we go. And here's where we're going to need some string and either our stapler or tape. Any size string will do. I want mine to be a little bit on the long side just in case I have a long branch. So this is about half my arm. I'm using my arm as a guide here. About half my arm. Okay, from my elbow to my, the tip of my fingers. I cut my string, yarn, ribbon, whatever you have to use. And I'm gonna make one knot in the bottom, wrap it around my fingers, poke it through, and pull. Just one knot. And I'm gonna put that right inside the slit. The knot will go on the bottom side that I don't want to show, the loop will be on top. And now we're gonna make that cone for our roof by simply pushing those edges away from each other. We cut a slice, here's one edge and here's the other. Use your fingers on either side of it to just push them away from each other until you have a shape you're happy with. It's not too small for your roof. Maybe I want mine a little bit pointier. Test it out there. Make sure it fits, yep, love it. And now you need your stapler or tape to make one staple or tape over. I'm gonna use the stapler today just because I know that that's easier to take out when I want to recycle later. One staple, that's all it takes. A little bit of glue right around the edge of our tube once more on the top this time. And if a little gets inside, again, that's no big deal. Just a little around that edge. Attach your roof and give it a nice little press. You can hold it there for a little bit if you'd like, but a nice little press should do. And then you're gonna set it aside to dry and look how sturdy it is once it's dry. I can even pull on that roof a little bit 
only used a tiny bit of glue and that's just enough to keep our birdhouse all put together. All right, I hope you had fun making that. You can find seeds or maybe little acorns or things that birds will like to eat and put them inside the house. And you can hang this from outside or maybe you just wanna keep it inside. Maybe put a little airplane plant in there, maybe just for decoration and decorate it as you wish. Have fun. Take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.